What's going on everybody? Ed here bringing you another tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about a, just a quick combo system. Similar to the ones you see in like Geometry Wars, where the more enemies you hit, the more your combo goes up. Um, and I'm going to do mine based on time, whereas if you don't kill an enemy within two seconds, your combo will reset. You can also do it where it resets when you die, when you lose a player, um, anything like that. The concept will be the same. Okay? So right here at the beginning, we're just going to add a few text objects. Um, one is going to be my combo. Just to show us uh, what the combo is currently at. All right, and I'm going to do another one for score, just so I can show you a practical use of this, okay? Okay. So that's all we need from here. So we'll go into our event sheet. I already have an event where uh, bullets collide with the enemy. Okay, so that's done. Um, I need three global variables. One is going to be my combo timer because I'm going to do mine based on time. The second is going to be my combo multiplier, which is going to be set to 1. And the third will be my score. Okay. Perfect. So since our timer is going to, or since our combo is going to be based on a timer, I need to set up my timer uh, with delta time. So I'm going to add two combo timer DT on every tick, okay, to set up that timer. Now most of the events are gonna, most of the actions are gonna happen on the bullet hitting the enemy, okay? So what we're gonna do is each time a bullet hits an enemy, we're gonna reset the combo timer to zero, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check later to see if it goes over like two for two seconds that um, our combo will reset and I'll show you that in a minute not to get ahead of myself so we're gonna reset our combo we're gonna um, we're gonna add one to our multiplier okay so our multiplier will go from one to two to three to four etc all right and then um, let's say when we kill these enemies we want to give the player 100 points okay so what we're gonna do here so we're going to set the value of the score to the score plus 100 times the combo multiplier. So whatever my score already is, add 100 times whatever the multiplier is. Okay, so my multiplier is at 1. It's going to be 100. If it's 5, it's going to be 500. Okay? And lastly, I believe, is we're going to check to make sure the timer hasn't taken too long. So we're going to compare our combo timer. We're going to say if it's greater than or equal to 2 seconds. Then we're going to reset our multiplier. Okay, and then we're going to set up our score box. And the score variable. And we're going to set up our combo. Let's say combo and combo multi player. All right, and that should take care of that. Let's give it a test run. All right, my combo's at one, it's at two. All right, you can see my score shooting up with each hit now. See, it took too long, so it reset. So here we go, getting a big combo, getting a big combo. Oh, took too long, it resets. 
Getting a big combo. Come on, you enemies. Getting that big combo. Oh, just missed one. All right. So there you go. Quick, dirty, easy combo system. Now, if you wanted to change it to where it reset every time you died, then obviously on your game over or on your whenever your player um, dies, you would just reset the combo to uh, one. You wouldn't need any of this timer stuff. All right. You got questions? You got comments? Go ahead and post. And thanks again.